Isabelle et Sébastien ont porté secours à leurs amis, Adolfo et Lisa, qui étaient tombés dans un... He discovered that his two friends, Beatrice and Benedict, had fallen into a deep construction hole and were unable to get out. Sebastian didn't hesitate for an instant. He found his friends and rescued them to be reunited with their father. He found it hard to leave new friends behind, but after another sad goodbye, he started off again on the trail to find his mother. my pocket <laughs> all right the traffic doesn't seem to be too bad around here so you'll be safe <laughs> you two, you'll get lost if you run too far ahead of us <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you're not scared of that cat are you poochie Dog that's afraid of a little cat. Hey, son, are you saying that this big dog's afraid of a cat? <laughs> no, I have another one besides this one. Your big dog is terrific, but I think the little one is just adorable. So, where are you and these nice dogs headed off to on such a fine day, son? I'm on my way to see my mother. Oh, well, to see your mother. <laughs> yes, this is my pharmacy. Are you in need of any medicine? Medicine? I've never had to take any of that. We're all very healthy, you see. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. You look as healthy as anyone can get. Well, you be careful on your trip. Thank you. This sounds like a police car. I think we should try and hide in this basement. Huh? The basement looked like a storage space that hadn't been used in a long, long time. chasing you be quiet and you tell your dog to be quiet too just shut up Bella. listen i've decided to hold you and your dogs as hostages in case the police show up so you'd better stand still keep quiet and do what i say or else We're safe, and I say so. Excuse me, but we haven't eaten in a long time. You just be patient. I'll let you eat whatever you want later. You mean it? I got enough money here, don't I? Yes, but that's the money you stole from the bank. It doesn't make a bit of difference where the money came from. Do you think there's another way we can get out of here? Crawl through that hole if we could take off the wire gate. What are you doing? 
I wasn't doing anything at all. <laughs> What's up, Belle? What? There's bread and cheese here that the men at the church must have given to us. Okay, time to eat. <laughs> here. Now listen to me, Belle. You go and take the wire gate off the escape hole, and I'll go over and offer him some food to distract him. Do you understand? Let's go. Who? Here. Do you really want to give your food to me? Mm-hmm. Everyone in this world gets hungry and deserves some food to eat. Some monks in the church gave this cheese and bread to me. Tell me, what made you decide to become a bank robber? Hush your mouth. I told you not to ask any stupid questions. Oh, uh, huh? The burglar must be staked out somewhere in this general vicinity, so I recommend we break up and search each building individually. Let's go look this way. All right. Show you, you can't get away with tricking me. Oh, it hurts. Someone, please help me. Please help me. Help. Somebody help. Are you all right? What can I do for you? Oh, it's my heart. It's my heart. Oh. Well, what should I do? Tell me. What should I do for you? Tell me. I'll do anything you say. The medicine. I ran out of the medicine. I need it. Oh. Medicine? There's a drugstore right near here, so I'll go and get the medicine for you. No, you're just trying to escape from me. Tell me the truth. You don't have to worry. I promise that I'll come back soon. No way. I don't believe you. But... It's okay to send the dog. What? I've been watching it. It looks like he's pretty obedient. He should easily be able to do it. Hang this note and some money around his neck. No, not the big dog, because he sticks out too much. It's better to use the small dog instead. What? Send Poochie all the way to the drugstore? We can't do that because there's a cat that lives at the drugstore. A cat? Poochie's really terrified of little cats. I can't believe that a dog is afraid of a cat. 
But I'm telling you the whole truth. Uh, uh, just hurry up, kid. Don't waste time. Oh, well, Poochie, I guess it's up to you. Now be a good boy, Poochie. The drugstore, it smells like this little bottle. And don't run away, even if the cat runs out. Ah! Okay, Poochie, I'm letting you out the door now. Make sure the police don't catch you. Go quickly! Poochie, go ahead, hurry up! It's a little dog. Hey, little puppy. Where are you headed for? Oh? So, hey! That was a funny dog. It looked like he was carrying a little note or something around his neck. We don't have time to fool around with dogs. You're right, we don't. Has the dog arrived back yet? He's really late. What are you going to do? I'm just wondering what happened to Poochie to make him so late. Where are you going? I'm just going to take a look. You stay right there. You'll be very sorry if you try to go to the police. Remember what I said? We wouldn't do something like that. If we do go to the police, they'd arrest us too. What's that? They want to catch us because we ran away from France. Did you do something bad? Positively nothing, but the police said that they'd kill Belle if they ever caught her. Well, are you running away because of this dog? Huh? No, not only that, I'm also trying to find my mother. And where is she? The Sierra Nevada. Oh, the Sierra Nevada. I'm also... Uh, 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 huh? Uh, oh. I'm here with you. Just hang in there. Poochie, he'll, he'll be back soon. Thank you. 
you doing back here? What's happened, little one? Did you get separated from your master? You look hungry, so I think I'll get you something to eat. All right, you stay right there and be a good boy. I'll be back in a jiffy with something nice to eat. You want me to feed you? So then what is the problem, puppy? Huh? Hmm. Keep trying to hang in there, please. Listen to me, hang on. I wonder what happened to Poochie. How about there? Don't think so. Well, how about this basement here? Okay, let's try that. Are you all right now? Yeah, the pain usually stops just as I take a little of that medicine. Thanks, little puppy dog. Thanks very much. My name is Billy, and I thank you very much. So what's your name? My name's Sebastian. This is Belle, and that's Poochie. Oh, uh, by the way, didn't you tell me before that you were on your way to see your mother? Mm-hmm. To Sierra Nevada. Do you know it? The village I'm from is at the foot of the Sierra Nevada. Oh, tell me all about it. Not much to tell. I guess the place is just, well, just an ordinary country place. Everybody knows each other. My mom and my younger brother still live there. Your mother lives there? Sure, why not? So why aren't you living there with your mother? I'm going to. That's why I needed this money. If you work hard enough, you can make enough money so you won't have to steal it. It's none of your business. through the hole first. Mm -hmm. Open this door. We're coming through. You open it now. Hmm? Hmm. They must have gone through there. Let's report back to the others. I'll be all right now. Don't worry any more about me. You just try and get out of here safely. No, I can't leave you. We've got to get away together. Sebastian? Okay. Let's go this way. Okay.
Don't worry, Sebastian. Just leave it all up to me. <gasps> Ready? Hmm? I'm gonna run out in front of them and attract their attention. That'll give you plenty of time to get away and not be seen. But you'll be arrested if you do that. Sebastian, you helped save me one time. And now it's my turn to help save you. No, you can't. You told me that a person could make a decent living if he worked hard enough. Well, I think I'm going to give it one more try just as soon as I get out of jail. Good luck, Billy. You be very careful. Sierra Nevada is a long way south from here. Billy! Say hello to your mom for me. Bye. Maybe we'll meet again. He's right over there. Hold it. You're under arrest. Come back here. Stop or I'll shoot. You're under arrest. Put your hands up slowly. Anyone besides you? No, sir. I'm in this all by myself. Good luck to you, Sebastian. In one afternoon, Belle and Sebastian had learned the power of true friendship. They swore never to forget what Billy had done for them that day. And as they ran down the road to continue their adventures, Sebastian hoped that someday he could make it up to him. <laughs>